My name is Mike with Gen Ken Kilns. This is the auto fire controller by Orton that we put on the majority of our kilns. This controller has a lot of new updates in it and a lot more powerful than the previous models. The only way I could tell you quickly how to identify the difference would be that this has sharper corners on it where they're pointed and the older versions they were rounded off. This controller has 35 total programs in it. Programs 1 through 10 are blank, which means you can go in and put in whatever you like. Programs 11 through 35 are actually pre-programmed ones that we have put in this controller to help get you a jump start, to help you get going a little quicker. While they may not be perfect programs, they are adjustable. So if you look in there and say, I don't full fuse at 1480, I want to go to 1470, please change the number. That's what they were designed for, to be able to accommodate whatever you need. Each one of those is also 20 segments long. So while we may have a three or four step program, if you needed more steps, you could always go out to at least 20 different ramp hold segments. On this controller, in the glass mode, the user program button, by pressing it, you can see program one. If we went to 11, which is the first one that's pre-programmed for a full fuse less than 10 by 10 in a brick kiln, you can see that we have a rate of 400 degrees an hour, and we're going up to 1170 for a bubble squeeze. We're going to do a 40 minute hold. If 40 minutes we thought was too short, you're more than welcome to change it. Then we're going to go 500 degrees an hour on up to the 1480 for the full fuse. It's going to hold there for 10 minutes. The next rate is going to be as fast as possible down to 900. 900 is a good annealing temperature for bullseye. The spectrum is a little higher, usually around 940 or 950. You're more than welcome to enter those numbers if you like. It's going to hold there for 30 minutes. And then rate four is zero, which means we don't have any other information. If I press the button again, it'll go to idle and one more time on. So now it's going to run this program. It takes a second for it to load up, and then it's gonna start running it. There are a few options on this controller that we want everybody to be aware of. While the kiln is firing, the number nine button is a skip step. By pressing that once and pressing enter, you're advancing. And what can that do for you? If we have told this controller to go to 1480 degrees, but we were to look in the window or safely open the kiln and look, and our piece is done at 1460, by doing skip step number nine and enter, will tell it not to go all the way up to 1480. It will advance to the next segment, which is the rapid cool going down to start the anneal. There is also an alarm feature on here that you can press the alarm button. It's set at 32, which means it's off. If we wanted to put in 1460, then as the kiln passes 1460, the alarm feature is going to go off. It's going to show alarm on the display, which means you just come back and push enter to turn it off once. And you can check the glass on its way to 1480 to see if it has the desired effect. And if it does, then use the skip step feature. That is something that a lot of people do not know how to use, but could benefit greatly. It seems to help quite a bit when you do a slump because a slump is a firing that ranges from 1170 all the way to 1250. So we normally err on the high side and say we'll go to 1250, but we check it, 1170, 1190, about 1200, 1220. And when we see our desired effect, that bowl has slumped where we like it, in a mold, over a mold, deep mold, shallow mold, then we'll use skip step. And the next time we fire that particular mold, we will fire to that temperature that we skip stepped at. So if we do not want to continue this firing at any time, we can just hit the stop button, but if we wanted to see what we had put in the controller before we were to walk away, we can hit program review anytime while the controller is running 
and it will simply cycle through the program and we can verify our numbers before we step away from the kiln to make sure it's going to do what we thought it was going to do. And yes, it's normal for a kiln to click on and off as it heats up because it's energizing the relays. And once it's done cycling, if we want to end the program, we can hit stop for board. Again, goes to idle, and then we could switch it off.